Presenting Africa on Africa TV, that means in English, Africa, my Africa TV. Uh, we African TV, we locate here in Washington, DC area, and uh, our emblem is love, development, solidarity, uh, which means that uh, for us, Africa, we all want. Uh, I have a pleasure to meet our brother, uh, Mr. Tenny, who is here, who invited me to the event, but I always around because. Uh, for me, everywhere they call me, uh, I'm always there because I think African people, we should be one. Uh, we are in the foreign land here, and uh, uh, it doesn't matter if you are from Cameroon, you are from Ethiopia, he's from Gabon, we're all African. And uh, I'm from Cameroon. Uh, I always have a pleasure serving all African communities. Last time there was a protest in DC about Nigeria oil and fuel. I was there standing behind Nigeria people because I think we're supposed to be one. I come here to, today, I don't understand Ethiopia, but I've been in Addis Ababa in 2006, 
beautiful country. Uh, the tourists is very welcome. I was in a little hotel in Addis Ababa for two days, and I wish to go back because I was feeling very, very comfortable there. I say thank for the government for your country because my country tourist is not so welcome like in Addis Ababa. I really enjoy it in two days and the food too. Um, a film on Afri TV we just started last year and uh, we pass now for people who live in Montgomery Channel. We display on Montgomery Channel and we are online. I come here to look at what our sister has to offer and uh, I have my business card there. If everybody, anybody that wants us around, please be free to contact us. We all want. I don't understand Ethiopia that better have been sitting there for a while because I know you guys are doing something great. So I will let the ceremony start because we are Sunday, the time is running. I don't want to take much of your time. My name is Dudu Tekle Ngule. I'm here with one of my cameramen, Alan Chato. And uh, it's my pleasure that you give me the honor <laughs> to say something. I was not prepared. But we just know we come from Africa and please, solidarity, development, and love. That is the goal. Thank you. <laughs>
Ethiopian restaurant to cover the event about the fashion show organized by our borders uh, Ethiopian. And we're going to take some interview here. Hi, Mr. Yes, thank you again. Uh, my name is Antenna Demelaj. I represent NAFCON, NAFCOT Ethiopia magazine here in Washington, D.C. area and 12 other states. Uh, could you tell us a little bit more about the event because most of them was covered in uh, Ethiopian for our viewers? Yes, the language they used is Amharic and hopefully we can translate it soon. And uh, this is organized by Konjo Models and the organizers. And uh, to tonight uh, there are a lot of guest owners, designers, business owners, models who came today to support. And uh, this is uh, the cause to show uh, uh, right now, as we speak, she's going to talk about, the one of the models is going to talk about her mission right now. And uh, this is a launch for their future project in June and July. It's called Ethiopian Fashion Week, okay? And th that's coming up, and hopefully everybody join us uh, when that time comes. You are one of the organizers? No, I'm a guest owner for tonight. I'll be presenting awards for the models who had achieved in their, their achievement in the past. If we, uh, some other people want to join the, uh, you on that day, where do the event going to take place? Uh, they can w look at Nafcot magazine in the community and we'll be advertising on the, our magazine. Okay, as well as our free on Africa TV, we will become a partner to this night for our communities. Come. Thank you for coming. So you want to ask something special for our for the community? Please let's be one. I personally work in uh, African community, uh, African Americans, African immigrants from Caribbean, and I work on African diaspora project. That's how we came up to meet with you personally with your network. So hopefully, Office of African Affairs will bring us together. Good evening, sir. Good evening. It's my pleasure meeting you again. We always meet in somewhere. You're very active in the African community, and that is uh, bravo, because uh, what we wish here is uh, solidarity, love, and development. And we know you are all over the place to try to promote African culture, not only uh, Ethiopian, but all African. Could you tell us what you think about the event this night? Uh, well, thank you very much um, uh, for, for your kind word. Uh, this is an excellent uh, event. Uh, he has been able to uh, bring together several Ethiopian models and others and friends and uh, it's, it's a nice event. So I know last time you say a lot about African community. Today you have something more to add? Well, yes. Uh, on um, uh, January 14 we had a big event uh, we, at Howard University. We called it uh, Pan-African. Haile Selassie and the African world, quest for dignity, freedom, and uh, unity. And we had several Africans, Caribbean, uh, many people from the United States. It was a grand event, and I'll be very glad to send you the video. It was a, an amazing event. So what we are trying to do is we like to bring in the, uh, the diaspora, the African diaspora together in different capacities so that uh, we can shine here and show our uh, historical excellence. I was surprised this evening. I want to tell you something. Last time you grew up, I thought that it was all Ethiopian in the Panafest. I was surprised this night somebody telling me it was American and he's trying to represent African culture. Why beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's very good. Very good. Yeah, um, I think, I don't know where you get him, but you, you have uh, this uh, pressure eyes to discover the talent because he's not from Africa, but as me, I thought he was from Ethiopia. And the way you, he's dancing and everything, we just want to encourage you to extend that good job to other community too. Yeah, yeah, he learned it. I mean, he's uh, very active. And uh, if you remember, I had him about three or four times last year. Uh, as you recall, uh, we were celebrating... Uh, the diaspora year uh, last year, if you remember, yeah. that was uh, uh, under the resolution by the United Nations, and he played in many places, and uh, he's wonderful. Thomas Young is really wonderful. He has learned the, the technique very well, and he does it uh, as much as uh, the rest of the uh, Ethiopian uh, traditional dancers. Yeah. We really thank you for all the good job you're doing, because really you're all over the place, and you're doing your best to promote African continent, and you know, as we said, Afrimon Afri will always be there if you want us to share this uh, good job together. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. What I like to tell your people is 
every month we have um, uh, a gathering. We call it Ethio Mixer. It's open for everybody. The next one is next Thursday. It's going to be held on 9th Street, 1929th Street. The same month, on the 26th, we have a big grand event at the African Center uh, for the Black History Month, too. Can you tell us what time? Uh, it's going to be uh, starting in the afternoon around 2 o'clock up to like uh, 9 o'clock. It's a big event. There are about, uh, about we have about 12 organizations already in line wow. to participate, yes. We wish to be there. Yeah, we'll send you all information Please. and uh, we'll appreciate very much also your support and uh, being a part of all these uh, events. I mean, uh, that's what we should do. We have to try to work together. I mean, because we are in the development process, uh, we have uh, a lot of things have been going on, but there has not been combination. If you recall, uh, just uh, AU, uh, the 18th session of AU just opened. If you recall, in the 1960s, 63, what happened? No, the African got their independence, but they were divided into Monrovia and Casanova, I mean, um, Casablanca, and then how the emperor, uh, President Nkrumah, uh, and uh, uh, your president uh, and the others, how they put together and to create the Pan-Africanism. Yeah. That's what we are trying to do, that we have to bring that feeling back. And we have the great opportunity in America to come and work together. Thank you for the history. We know they always say behind a big man stand a woman. I thought that this this is the woman. We receive it here, know, our, our brother, Africa-American, that always surprising us. Me personally, I thought you was from Africa. You are from Africa by the history because all Africa-American come from Africa. Some of them, most of them, not all of them. I'm sorry to say all of them, some of them. But as I was seeing you, I met you for many events, the way you dance. I can swear God that you was from Ethiopian until when you spoke this evening, I was like, what? So it's our pleasure. I have tears on my eyes to see that uh, somebody coming from far away can represent our culture and can dance even more than some of our, us. So it's our pleasure. And I want to tell I want to ask you, what was your motivation really? Go to Ethiopia, learn this dance, and be proud to represent African continent. Um, well, I, I first visited Ethiopia um, in 2001. Um, it was actually my first time going to Africa. Um, sadly, um, during my school year, um, I did not know about Africa. Um, they didn't really teach us about Africa here in the U.S. Um, it wasn't a big subject um, back then. Um, so after I graduated and when I was an undergrad, I went to the University of Maryland and I used to run track. And during track and field, there's a lot of famous runners from Africa. And, but I didn't know nothing about Africa at the time. So as running with them, um, I had to know where they were from. So some of them were from West Africa, some of them were from the northern, some were from the eastern. So one of my friends, he was from Ethiopia. And he was one of the best runners um, on our team and throughout the Oh, yeah, throughout like, the, um, the U.S. So um, he told me that I have to visit the country. You know, I have to witness their culture and the food and stuff like that. So he took me to one restaurant and introduced me to the, the food and the, the culture. So I was happy. I was, I was, my mind was changed. So he said, this is not the real place. The real place is Africa. You have to go to Africa to see the real culture. The richness of Africa is there, not here. Because when they come here, it's changed. They change things. So you say, you want to see the real thing? Go there. So um, I looked for some programs to join, and this was the Peace Corps. So I joined the Peace Corps and went to, Af went to Africa, to Ethiopia, to work with the special needs children. So throughout the trip, um, I saw the dancing. So I was like, oh my goodness, this is beautiful. The, the dance was beautiful, but it was so much because each each culture there has their own dance. Like it's over hundreds different dances. So um, I took it upon myself to to learn because there was no one willing to teach me because I was an American. And um, it was kind of difficult for me in the beginning because as an American, it's hard for them to accept. Even from Africa, the way you dance, I don't think that I can do the same though. 
Yeah, so um, I had to teach myself. How and did you take to do that? Uh, it took me for about five years wow. to learn. Like, Are you staying in Ethiopia for five years? No, I stayed in Ethiopia for one year, mm -hmm. but I visited three times. Mm -hmm. But um, after I got back here to U.S., I had to look on YouTube. I had to go to like Ethiopian stores to get the DVDs, learn the dances, because I don't know the language. Yeah. Um, I only know the music. Yes. So just by listening to the instruments, I know which culture it comes from. Yes. So that was the only way that I could learn. So I, I just started teaching myself more and more and more and more until I became more professional. So um, now I, I travel throughout the world and I show people about Africa. And, and you know, because there's a lot of places that, that don't, they don't believe a lot of things. Um, they only believe what they see on TV. And it only takes a person, even for myself, you know, I, I couldn't believe what I saw when I went to Africa because what you see here on TV is totally different from what you actually see when you go there. So my life changed completely. I, when here, I, I wasn't open-minded. I was always thinking straight ahead. But when I went to Africa, my mind just grew more. And I learned to appreciate life. I learned to respect people more. And, you know, I'm, I'm more humble now because of what I witnessed when I went there. Yeah. I have more respect for people in Africa than I have for people here. Because it takes a lot of guts and it takes a lot of courage to come here to this country. You have to go through a lot just to get here. So I, I watch a lot of people struggle just to come to this country. And just for them to struggle to come here and they become successful, that should make us as an American help them to grow bigger because they struggle just to come here. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm, I'm appreciating everybody from Africa, you know, because of what they go through there. And then when they get here, they become more successful than people that are actually born here. Yeah, somebody was curious saying that uh, you don't have any familiarity in Af Africa. Do you try to go for your DNA test? No. Um, both my parents are American. Um, even my family is like, wow, like, what happened? You know, like, what's going on? You married Africa? Yes, um, my um, wife is over there. From Ethiopia? From Ethiopia. Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. It's an open door. Oh, yeah. <laughs> more and more. Exactly. So we, we, me, I was impressed because for real, I always see you to the event. I never, never, I could doubt, I could put the price down. I could not imagine one second that you come from somewhere else. I knew you was from Ethiopia, so when you took, you took speech this night and you said that you was from America, I was like, huh? So I was like, maybe I do not quite understand. I have to come back and ask you again. I, I believe that if any American was to go to Africa and see the things that they go through there, I believe everybody would change. I, I believe a lot of good things would come to this country if people were to explore more outside of this country. Because reading and learning here is not the same as actually, you know, witnessing it and experiencing it. So it took for me to go through that to actually learn, you know, a lot of things. So I believe that it takes for everybody to do that. Oh, thank you very much, my brother. We really welcome you back home because, uh, as I said, uh, the first human being was from Africa, Egyptian. So white, black, whatever. The first human being in this world was from Africa, so we all brother and sister. I'm just glad to see how somebody can represent my own continent, my own culture. I have a tear on my eyes when you said it because first of all, I was shocked. I do not imagine every every time I saw you, I do not imagine you was from America. But that is showing our viewers and uh, people that watch us that you have to travel you have to go over the world the media are, are not always showing the truth or maybe when they show the truth they go to the back of the village and project something that is not always uh, reality and thank you to stand and say this truth because why you say this evening is very powerful and very truth media are showing us something different with the reality and uh, we welcome you back home anyway you are always you are already part of us because you married african woman i know that we always be happy to get you back and uh, thank you to represent our culture you tell us that you go to canada you go to many countries to represent african culture 
is proud to see somebody from somewhere else stand from African continent. That is something to tell us. It's a message from African people themselves. That if somebody else can stand from you, why about yourself? And really, we encourage you, and I will always be one of your fans. Connect us to our film on Africa. I'm always projecting your video, and people always asking me, it made this like that? <laughs> and I say, this man will come from Ethiopia, so I had to change his around. I said, no, it's American who went to Africa to learn. Really, thank you for everything you're doing for our continent and our culture. And as a brother, our emblem, as I say, is love, solidarity, and development. It doesn't matter where you come from. We always had to think that we are human beings and we are ones. Thank you very much. Thank you, and I appreciate Africa um, because without Africa, it wouldn't it would not be no me. I probably wouldn't even be here today if it wasn't for Africa. So I thank Africa for everything that they've given me, and they've appreciated me. So thank you, Africa, and I'll see you soon. You say your name is Thomas, huh? Yes, Thomas. Thomas. Thank you very much. Bonsoir. Nous sommes dans ici à l'événement du fashion show. Ça veut dire que modèle danse, culture, euh, business euh, dans le cadre de nos frères euh, éthiopiens. Euh, nous n'avons pas trop euh, de détails à donner parce que l'événement a été majoritairement donné en, en éthiopien, en leur langue maternelle. C'est vrai que nous avons notre collaborateur qui va traduire pour nous en anglais pour les vidéos, mais pour le moment, nous n'avons pas beaucoup suivi ce qu'ils ont dit. Mais l'important pour Afrique, mon Afrique, d'être ici, c'est parce que nous avons dit, euh, nous encourageons la solidarité, l'amour, le progrès entre les Africains. Les Africains doivent être un. La solidarité est très importante. Vous venez de suivre tout à l'heure un reportage vraiment qui a mis tout le monde ici à bas. Euh, notre frère noir américain qui est purement américain, 100% des parents, et qui dit qu'il est parti en Afrique pour une visite et ça a changé sa vie. Il a appris la danse de, de notre continent. Il est fier de représenter notre continent dans beaucoup de pays. Il dit qu'il travaille, par, il, tra, il, il voyage partout dans le monde, au Canada, partout, pour représenter la culture africaine. Alors, si quelqu'un dans notre pays peut le faire, pourquoi pas nous, les Africains? Nous avons une richesse que nous ne que que nous ne prenons pas en valeur parfois et vous pouvez voir combien de fois ce garçon a honoré l'Afrique et combien de fois il a trouvé en Afrique une richesse incontestable il dit que l'Afrique c'est c'est la terre bénite même en fait. Et que les médias ne font pas leur travail. Chaque fois que les médias parlent de l'Afrique ici, ils projettent l'Afrique dans une image dont l'Afrique ne représente pas. Et il a voulu démentir ça en disant que l'Afrique, c'est le paradis pour lui. L'Afrique lui a tout donné. Il dit qu'il voit comment les gens souffrent en Afrique pour venir aux États-Unis. Et il, quand ils arrivent ici, ils, ils, ils réussissent à établir une vie, à, 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 à pouvoir réussir. Il dit que pour lui, c'est vraiment quelque chose d'extraordinaire. Il est américain, il s'est marié après d'une éthiopienne, de notre sœur éthiopienne, et il dit qu'il va constamment en Afrique pour apprendre la culture, la danse et tout ce que ça concerne. Il dit que les Africains doivent savoir qu'ils sont une terre bénie. Et c'est sur cette note-là qu'on se sépare aujourd'hui. Euh, vous avez à la caméra Alain Chato et Doudou Teklin Goulet, toujours votre servante auditrice. Nous allons mettre fin à cet événement ce soir et nous serons toujours connectés pour vous donner l'information, la bonne information et la réalité sur le terrain. Parce que comme quelqu'un disait, les médias ne vous disent pas toujours la vérité. Nous, nous sommes là pour la vérité, pour le terre par terre, pour la réalité, assez des rêves de Hollywood. Il faut que les gens commencent à comprendre exactement ce qui se passe sur le terrain. Merci encore et Afrique, mon Afrique, restez connectés. Une fois de plus, nous sommes ici dans le Dantan Silver Spring. Nous serons toujours là et que tout le monde qui a le plaisir d'être toujours en ligne avec nous sache que nous sommes toujours toujours et toujours à votre service. Afrique, mon Afrique, c'était tout pour ce soir. Merci. Bye. C'est qui ça? Adolona! Na! Toma wala lina kobu minyana Boma jave kobe na e Nderi yangwe lina kobu minyana Boma jave kobe na o